What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Boxer Tactical Zenith Belt. Now you might not have seen me do a, you know, a video originally when I got this, like pretty much everyone else who you know, seemed to have got one of these where they were like, guys look at this, this is the best belt ever. Okay, just look at it. And then they would open it up and they'd make a video and they'd be like, oh it's so rigid and amazing and whatever. Um, I actually used it and now I'm gonna make a review. So I roll here. Number one, yes, this is a really amazing belt with some caveats I think can be improved upon. And we'll get to those a little bit later on in the video here. But as far as the belt goes and the construction and how cool the website is, let's talk about that a little bit. Number one, the really cool thing I saw about the website was when you go to the Boxer Tactic website, you click on specifications, it actually shows you where the, um, the city is where the, the piece of gear came from, or the piece of, uh, you know, the part to the belt. So on this belt, you know, the nylon webbing comes from Virginia. The uh, hook and loop Velcro comes from New Hampshire. So that's one thing that uh, I actually thought was really cool um, with just the, the maker of the, the company, you know, they're trying to tell you, hey, you know, we here at Boxer Tactical are made in the USA, and we're gonna show you where all this stuff comes from. I found that to, uh, to be really cool. Uh, back to the belt. The belt is, uh, like I said, a really good belt. It's rigid. Uh, a lot of people would be like, look how rigid this belt is. Well, look how rigid this belt is, okay? Look, look how rigid the belt is, okay? You don't see anyone else doing that in their videos, like, oh, look, it's rigid, and then it kind of flops. Okay, that's what happens when you wear it. But anyway, back to uh, the video here. Um, you know, I do like the belt. I like that it's, you know, double thickness here, as you can see, okay? Double thick nylon, that's on there. And um, you know it goes all the way down, and then inside of here, and the really cool part is there is a Kydex uh, Kydex insert that's in here, which does you know keep it from flexing and bending all the way. Okay, number one, if you get this belt, uh, don't roll it up and, and and store it. You want to store it like this or store it in your pants. Um, I recommend that you store it in your pants. But um, <laughs> you know the one thing I did notice though. Uh, right away, immediately was on this side where the uh, the Velcro mates with the uh, the hook and loop or the, the hook and the loop and loop and the hook. The uh, the one thing I noticed was you know they 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 melt this down to make it nice and smooth. Yeah, it's really good. It's nice, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The only problem that happens with this is, you know, if you're doing dynamic stuff, okay, you will tend to you know tear this off a little bit at a time. Okay, until it gets down to here, and then it'll just come all the way off. Have I had it come all the way off yet? No, I have not. But it is really annoying when you're doing stuff and, you know, this gets caught on something, or you get a magazine out, because for me, I'm uh, right-handed, so I actually put my put this on the left-hand side, uh, so I have a clean right-hand side. But if I go get my magazine, you know, at times, my finger can catch this because it's it's not it's not on the velcro because there's no velcro right here um you know it'll it'll catch us at times okay or if i go to turn and i'm around like a uh, some kind of a uh, obstacle or something you know it can kind of catch on it you know like here's the obstacle and kind of catch on it um so the one thing i would like to see right here is you know a little bit less uh, melting and a little bit further over on the velcro that way it can kind of sit a little bit tighter in to the belt um, as far as sizing goes, they have great sizing. They use this uh, Austrian uh, Cobra buckle, which in the industry is known as one of the best buckles you can get. Um, not made in the USA, as I said, it's Austrian uh, is where it comes from, Austria. Um, but uh, you know, in the industry, it's known as one of the tougher belts out there. There's a Raptor buckle, which is actually uh, USA made, uh, if my knowledge is correct there, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and it does pretty much the same thing as this. No one's using it, not sure why. Uh, I think it's made, I actually think it's a little bit more expensive. Um, but you know, the cover buckle is definitely sexier looking than the Raptor buckle, uh, that's for sure. I have a Raptor buckle belt. Um, and uh, you know, the reason I like these cover buckles and the Raptor and those kind of buckles is it's just, it's just ease of use. Um, you know, once you have this on your, your pants and such, you know, it's a simple click and go, um, as long as you have it set up which is what I do. Um, you know, I just put the belt in, you know, the pants I want to use or whatever, and then, 
you know, just an easy clip and go. If you gotta take the belt off for whatever reason, uh, you got a hot date that night or something, you go back to your pad and you wanna get this belt off really quick. It's uh, really good uh, for that, you know, and it's easy for the woman because, you know, they just kinda put their hands here and, you know, it's really easy to uh, take that buckle off. <laughs> as far as the, uh, the construction goes and the, uh, the sewing, um, as you can see here, we have three rows. You have one on the top, one in the middle, one on the bottom. Uh, I would like to, uh, you know, uh, see maybe a little bit more uh, stitching going down the the the, uh, the belt here. Um, I think it's uh, two uh, two fifteen gear actually does uh, more rows of the stitching. And, you know, is it going to do anything? You know, like I said, at this moment in time. This belt is the belt I go to. There's a reason for it, it's comfortable, uh, it's easy to, to put on, um, it's rigid, so I use it with, uh, you know, with my gun and uh, with you know, holsters and stuff. Uh, they stay on really well. Um, it does flex, but it doesn't flex all the way. As you can see, the bend there, it's not gonna roll over itself uh, very easily, especially when you have it on your body and it's trying to roll this way. Uh, it doesn't roll over very easily is what I'm trying to say. As far as stitching and stuff, of course, right here, you know, there's gonna be one of the points where you're gonna have uh, a lot of, you know, rubbing going on in and out of holsters. This thing's probably been in and out of holster probably 50 to 75 times by now because, you know, testing holsters and, uh, you know, changing out pants, changing out uh, all kinds of stuff all the time. You know, uh, that part right there is gonna rub against holsters when I'm taking it in and out. And as you can see, you know, it's a little bit frayed and whatever, but that's what happens when you use stuff. Unlike some people that do reviews here on YouTube. Overall, if you're looking for one of the best uh, belts out there, Zenith uh, is gonna be one of those. As you can see here, it's definitely bar tacked down in there really well uh, on this part right here, which loops around the uh, Cobra buckle right here. You know, just an overall really well made belt. And if you're looking for one on the market, I definitely would recommend this one. They have coyote and they have black uh, color and it's around $79. Um, so it is a little bit expensive, but I'm gonna tell you what, definitely one of the better ones on the market. I wish I would've got a uh, coyote one as well, but uh, I just got a black one here and um, it's my go-to. It's, uh, it's my go-to, I really like it a lot. Even though, you know, this little part right here, you know, kinda is something that I like to change. Uh, you know, I still find myself Got, if I need a belt, I'm grabbing this belt, and uh, it isn't even about needing a belt. It's just I always grab this belt. You know, it's comfortable. It's uh, it's a good sleek design. It's not complicated. It's not overly, you know, engineered to a degree, um, and I like that. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know. If uh, you guys have one or uh, you're looking to get one, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. And until next time, later.